Okay, my friends, that was Muhammad Ali, his life, his legacy. Now let's close it up. A few more points that I want to highlight. I'm going to go ahead and take it to a clip of some pastors. I know this is very sensitive now, but uh, I want to drive a point home of the double standard, the hypocrisy. Let's go to it, and then I'll give you my thoughts afterwards. But at Sacramento's Verity Baptist Church, Pastor Roger Jimenez told his churchgoers, What if you ask me, hey, are you sad that 50 pedophiles were killed today? Um, no, I think that's great. I, I, I think that helps society. You know, I think Orlando, Florida is a little safer tonight. Now that 50, you know, the tragedy is that more of them didn't die. I mean, the tragedy is I'm, 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 I, I'm, I'm kind of upset that he didn't finish the job. Hey everybody, Pastor Steven Anderson here from Faithful Word Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. And I just wanted to record a quick video about the news this morning about the shooting in Orlando. I guess a, a Muslim terrorist went into a gay bar and shot him up and um, there's 50 uh, sodomites, homosexuals that have been killed and another 50 some odd injured. And then the, uh, the Muslim guy himself was, was shot by the police it sounds like. And here's the good news and the bad news about this. You know, the good news is that there's 50 less pedophiles in this world because, you know, these homosexuals are a bunch of disgusting perverts and pedophiles. That's who was a victim here, are a bunch of just disgusting homosexuals at a gay bar, okay? And then I'm sure it's also going to be used to push an agenda against so called hate speech. So, Bible believing Christian preachers who preach what the Bible actually says about homosexuality, that it's vile, that it's disgusting, that they're reprobates, you know, we're going to be blamed. Like, oh, it's, it's, it's all extremism. It's not just the Muslims, it's the Christians. Do you have any regrets about your statements uh, during your sermon on Sunday? I don't have any regrets about what I said, and I don't take anything back. I would never take things into my own hands or become a vigilante. But I will say this, you know, the Bible says that homosexuals should be put to death in Leviticus 2013. Now the question is, what if these were Muslims? I mean, we've got to be fair all across the board. If you're a journalist, if you're in the media, if you are someone out there who has a social, a civil responsibility, let's take a lesson from Muhammad Ali. He stood on truth. He stood on solid ground. And at the end, what? He came out victorious. He was blacklisted, probably considered an enemy of the state at that time just like Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, but now you have days, holidays named after him. He's an American Muslim hero, Muhammad Ali. So stand for truth, report the truth. Don't go ahead and twist the truth. Let's go to a, another example. You know this gentleman, James Hole? Why ain't nobody talking about him? This guy plotted and was planning with weapons and chemicals to make a bomb. He was on his way to blow up a, a parade. Why nobody mentioning him? His religion is not mentioned. Nothing. These guys, these sociopaths, mentally disturbed people, they end up doing something and you look, nothing's mentioned about his religion. There'll be whole entire segments to look into the history of his life, what kind of childhood he had. You don't think we have also in a community of over 1.6 billion, you got people who are also not functioning properly up here, they're a product of their environment. You have what's glorified nowadays, violence and the music and the movies. Why don't we get together and try to change and make a difference here? I mean, you don't have someone who's an American and someone does these mass shootings. Now, every American has to go when he's overseas in Germany, wherever else he's traveling, he has to go ahead and apologize for all the American criminals that are out there, does he? What about somebody shares the same name as you? Never met this person. He just has the same last name, Maxwell, what the, whatever the case. Did you have to apologize if this person named Maxwell who carries your same last name, not even related to you? You have to apologize for him. Why then with Islam? Why then with Islam? Why the double standard? Because it's an agenda, people. You see, Islam is under attack. We know that. That's a fact. But the fiction is that Islam is a threat. Muslims are a threat. If anyone sincerely looks at the data, looks at the reports, looks at the statistics, this is a boogeyman that's been created, a false narrative that's being perpetuated and pushed. You as the sincere individual who's seeking to know the truth, you will see that you have more of a chance of being killed by a toddler with a gun or by your furniture. 
this whole myth that's been created that now wall-to-wall -wall coverage, Islamic, radical, terrorists, this is something that is far-fetched and beyond its hype. You have more of a threat from functioning organizations. You know, there's almost like 200 KKK organizations function. These people, if they had their reign, they'd be lynching, massacring, killing. And you have other organizations, right-wing zealots that are out there, and you don't hear much of this at all. We talked about uh, Hiroshima on a light switch. This guy was planning to, with a weapon of mass destruction, do ha rain havoc in the society. Very little news coverage, but anyone with a Muslim name, sat with a Muslim, had any connection to a Muslim in Islam, you see what's happening. Wide range spectrum all over the news, so much hype. And you know what? It's to promote a political agenda, create fear, and when you have that fear, people give up their rights, certain agendas get pushed, and you, you've just been bamboozled. That's it. Here's the point. Let me close it up. You know, just in a, Chicago, my hometown, we just had 40. We just had a mass shooting. At least seven killed, according to authorities, and some 46 others injured in shootings over the weekend. Now Call us at this number if you still, if you have some questions, some queries, you have some doubts, 1-800-662-ISLAM. Operators are standing by. If you have some apprehensions, some questions, some doubts, some misunderstandings, that's what we're here for. Make the human connection. Don't be on the side of hate. Be on the side of understanding, of love, creating a connection between us because we are not going anywhere, my brothers and sisters. We're here and we need to work to get to know our neighbors instead of hating our neighbors, just like the Christians are here, the Muslims are here, and the others are here. We have to work together in unison. We have to work together to make the world that we live in as a better place. As Muhammad Ali said, that's the rent that you pay back to God for being, spending time on His earth is to make this world a better place for all. Thank you very much for tuning in. We hope that you enjoyed this week's episode. We'll see you next time. Until then, peace be with you. Assalamu alaikum. You don't want to miss out. You want to be here every Friday, and then we'll try to give you some short reminders in between. But you can't get that if you're not coming back to the show every week. Fridays, we'll be releasing it. God willing, inshallah, subscribe right now and enjoy all of the content that we're going to be putting out for you. Thank you. Peace be with you. Assalamu alaikum.